Hi guys, it's Rebecca Coombs from The Healthy Gut. Sometimes there's nothing better than having spicy chicken wings with a lovely creamy dressing. And I'm here to show you today how I've transformed spicy buffalo wings with a ranch dressing into a SIBO friendly favorite. And it's out of my SIBO family favorites cookbook. So the first step is to make the sauce for the chicken wings. And I like to roast off four red capsicum, which are just beautiful organic red capsicum from my friends at Organic Angels. And I've got three long red chilies. Now I'll pop that in the oven at 180 degrees or 355 Fahrenheit, and we'll roast that for about an hour. The capsicum and chilies have been in the oven now for about an hour. And as you can see, they kind of come out completely sort of uh, cooked and um, wilted. And what I really enjoy about using these is it makes it really easy to strip the skins off and take the seeds out. So I've got a few that I've already done, but I just wanted to show you just how easy it is. So we're going to pop these into a blender because these are going to form the basis of our buffalo wing sauce. So all you need to do is just literally peel the skin off and the skin comes off like that so it's super super easy so you just go around the capsicum peeling all of the skin off and you can also break it open which is going to reveal the seeds so they can come out in one go so I'll keep doing this. Um, and then we've also got the chilies. So I just take the little um, stems off them and I pop them in whole. I don't worry about um, taking the skins off these. It adds a nice smoky flavor to it. And I don't de-seed them because I want these to be nice and spicy. There we go. So I'll just finish uh, de-seeding and skinning this capsicum and I'll be back in a moment. All right, so I've de-seeded and skinned that capsicum, so I'll pop that into the blender as well. And to that, I'm going to add a, one leek, which I have just cooked in some ghee. Um, if you can't tolerate leek, by all means, um, either substitute it with something that you can tolerate or leave it out completely. So we'll pop that in there like that with all the yummy ghee as well. And again, if ghee is problematic for you, you can use another oil that you know is suitable. And then the final thing that I add to this is some extra spice, just so that our buffalo wings are nice and spicy. I've got a teaspoon of chili powder and a teaspoon of salt. And the final step to making the um, buffalo wing sauce is to just give this a good blitz until it's well combined. There we go, now that is literally, it only takes a few seconds to make our very tasty sauce. Mmm, smells lovely. I've got uh, a bag here of free range chicken wings and I'm going to leave them in their plastic bag for the moment because the quickest way to get the sauce on the chicken wings is to pour it straight into the bag. So I'll show you what I do. You just pop it in like that. And then make sure that you've got the bag reasonably secure. I just give it a, a spin to make sure nothing comes out. And then you just sort of move the sauce around so that it's covering the chicken pieces. And I find this is the quickest way to coat any meat. I do this for marinades and sauces and all the rest. There we go. So as you can see, this is now nicely coated. And we're going to pour the chicken onto a tray, which I have lined with baking paper. And you want to make sure that you get all this tasty sauce out. So just squeeze it through the bag so that we don't lose any of that lovely saucy goodness. There we go. And we'll just spread our buffalo wings across the tray so that they're going to cook evenly. And we'll make sure that every piece has some lovely sauce on it. And then we're going to pop this back into the oven and we'll cook them for about 45 minutes or until they're cooked through. And I like to turn them once or twice during cooking just to make sure all of the sides start to get nice and crispy. See you soon. While the chicken wings are cooking, we've got time to make our ranch dressing. So I've got two spring onions, I've got a little bunch of chives, I've got some fresh parsley and some fresh dill, and I'm going to just chop these up quite finely. 
So I'll do the spring onions and the chives together. And now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the parsley and the dill. You just want it nice and fine so that you're not getting big chunks of herbs when you're um, eating your ranch dressing. So I've got about one cup of a homemade um, egg mayonnaise here. Uh, I've got a great um, egg mayonnaise recipe in both my SIBO Summer and my SIBO Family Favourites cookbooks. So super easy to make and I really implore you to do your own mayonnaise. It tastes so much better than store-bought stuff. We're literally just going to add these chopped herbs into the mayonnaise like that. And into our bowl, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of mustard powder and then a quarter teaspoon each of paprika and cayenne pepper. There we go. And then I've also got two teaspoons of white vinegar. So we'll pop that in there. Now I'll mix all of this through and then I'll taste it to check for seasoning. Okay, so as you can see, that's coming along nicely. So that's a really lovely kind of thick dipping sauce. By all means that you can water this down a little bit if you would like to. You might like to water it down with some lemon juice or even a little bit of water. Okay, let's have a little taste. Mm. I actually don't think it needs any salt, so I'm not going to add any, but if you like something a little bit saltier, by all means, add that. So we'll just have to wait now for our chicken wings to be ready. The chicken wings have just come out of the oven and I've got my lovely ranch dressing to dip them into. These are just great if you're watching a game or you've got friends coming around for dinner and I just love them. Don't they look wonderful? If you've liked today's video, click like and don't forget you can find this recipe and plenty of others in my SIBO Family Favourites cookbook. I'm Rebecca Coombs from The Healthy Gut and until next time, happy cooking!